opening day and uh, I didn't get to hunt this morning so I'm out here this after afternoon it's uh, October 1st here on some uh, public in North Alabama I've actually hunted part of this property before a little bit different today is they got some sound like home construction going on not far from me so maybe they won't mess me up um, I did a little scouting here about three weeks ago and uh, found a good sized red oak that was dropping a few acorns under it and there was still some in the tops so the squirrels hadn't got them all yet so I'm gonna go in here and set up over it. It did have a little bit of deer sign under it the last time I was in here. But, uh, who knows, it's opening day and it just feels good to get out of the house for a little while and get in the tree and try to work some of these bugs out so uh, let's uh take a little walk i'm probably i guess 30 35 minutes i'll be from the truck so i'll uh get back with you guys when i get up the tree so let's get at it I'm trying to take my time guys it's nearly 80 degrees so it's hot trying not to sweat as I said earlier I was uh, I found a big red oak it still had a few acorns in the top of it and what it sits on is kind of a transition line between some thick pines I'll kind of pan around and show you and not to mention where it's sitting that's kind of thick too so but I do have a few shooting lanes but uh kind of see it's pretty thick got an old fire break that I'm walking down it's gonna lead me down close to that red oak but uh let's get in here and get set up to that red oak. So, fingers crossed. I'm gonna get up the tree and uh, get set up. And let's, uh, let's see what time it is. I left the truck kinda early. It's 2.17 right now. Feed chart says they'll start feeding around four, but I don't always go by that best time to hunt anytime you get in the woods. So I'll get up the tree.
Right under the tree, man. Right under the tree. There's two of them. I got the better one of the two. Holy crap. Holy crap. I'm shaking like a leaf. I gotta, I gotta get Chris. And we'll have some help getting him out of here. I'm way back in the woods. Oh Lord, I'm so nervous, so nervous. He's down right on the stand. I had to shoot him point blank. One smelled me and bolted. They come in on the trail I walked in on. Lord have mercy. Oh, what a blessing. What a blessing. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I'm a nervous wreck. <laughs> oh Lord, look at I'll show you his pick. Look at there guys. What a way. At the end of the day. Went in here blind. Those deer was headed to that red oak right there. Crap. So nervous, I can't get the camera. Those, excuse me, those deer were headed to that red oak I was telling you about. It still had a few acorns in it, and it was dropping a few, not many. And they knew it was there. And they were coming to it. Oh, Lord. Oh, gotta get my legs under me. <laughs> uh, get my camera around here where I can talk to you guys. Oh, Lord. I'm gonna calm down <laughs> before I climb down on this tree. Give my boy a call. He's done texting me. <laughs> The camera's moving on me. He, he's done texting me and said he's on his way. <laughs> I said, him, I'm telling you, the deer ain't even five feet from the bottom of my tree. Lord have mercy, I can't believe it. Golly, you talk about blessed. I didn't get to hunt this morning. I didn't feel good, so I stayed in the house and sitting here battling the cough all day for right here at dark to come in. I can't ask for a better good night. I'm so nervous I can't I can't even dial my phone. I'm so nervous I might have to ask Siri to call my son for me because I don't know if I can push the buttons or not. Hey, I'm going to need some help, buddy. Uh, it looks like an eight point laying there. Best I can tell, it happened so quick, I, I, I can't tell. <laughs> because I shot him five feet from the base of the tree. I shot him, I shot him straight down, yeah. Yeah, those two of them came in. They came walking right in the trail that I walked in on, headed right to that red oak tree. All right, buddy. I, you be careful. I'll see you when you get here. I'm going to wait on you. I love you. Bye.
not to mention that uh, <clears throat> when these deer when these deer were coming down there was another deer I, I don't know what it was <clears throat> coming from the area that I had pointed to to you guys earlier where the thicket was it just blows my mind these deer come right down the trail I walked in on sniff, smelling where I'd walked and got too close to my tree I'm talking about right under my tree and that first one, I, wish, I wasn't going to shoot it. I was just going to end up filming it. I thought that was going to be the only one. Well, it bolted and ran when it did. It kind of spooked this one a little bit. But it luckily, it turned and walked right underneath my stand. And I wasn't going to let it get any further if I could help it. So I shot it right down through the top of the back. Point blank. Straight down almost. Whew. Something told me just to get in the tree today. I don't know guys if you know what I'm talking about, but some days you just have that feeling where you need to be you need to be in the tree. You don't know why, just something's calling you to the tree. And every time that happens to me, it seems like I have some kind of success and good luck. But I'll take luck <laughs> for being good any day. <laughs> public land buck too, and that's a pretty decent public land buck. I'm just all tore up. But uh, guys, I'm going to shut her down. And just as soon as some help gets here to help me get this deer out. Because like I said, I'm a poke back in the woods. I'll pick back up with you when I get on the ground. Thanks, guys. I don't know what to say. I made it down out of the tree. <laughs> I, I was shaking so bad I didn't think I was going to be able to climb down. I, I guess uh, it's not the biggest eight point in the world, but I tell you what, I'll take it. That's a, that's a pretty decent public land buck, especially since I came into this spot kind of uh, blind about three weeks ago and happened to find that red oak, the tree there, and um, kind of set up on it today. And, and I didn't know what to expect. Didn't put no cameras out or nothing in here. I just uh, kind of went at it blind, old school, I guess. And... Uh, it kind of paid off for me and I'm kind of tickled to death, but uh, we appreciate all you guys watching. Thankfully behind the camera right there is my helper that's going to help me drag him out because like I said in the video, we'll poke back in the woods. So uh, we're going to get him out of here and work on getting a good video out to you guys. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. You guys have a great hunting season and God bless.